Lesson number one, don't kick the yellow toad. What is this thing? This thing's cute. Can I kill it? Paratoad. Well, that doesn't look good. Oh, no! Hedgy hunts. Welcome back to another Monster Hunter journal where I document my entire journey playthrough through Monster Hunter World. If you're here for the ride and you're going to follow along, be sure to subscribe, hit those notifications because I'm dropping these videos pretty much whenever I make progress in this series, whether it is during a stream or during my own research. So last night we kicked off my Monster Hunter World journey and I'm just blown away by what happened. I'm recording this within 24 hours of that stream happening. My expect, okay, my usual streams are five to 10 viewers. I was expecting maybe 50 to 100 considering the last few Monster Hunter videos have been getting some attention. There were 600 of you mad lads watching this idiot pretty much figure out how to play Monster Hunter World. 600 of you. And it was just insane. And now I try to keep these journals slash diaries short. I try to keep them to 10 minutes. I doubt that's going to happen today because I just, I just drank out of the fire hose so much information. Not only was there Monster Hunter World that was throwing everything at me, I had 600 amazing people throwing in some of you trolls, but good trolls, I like that kind of trolling, um, passing, just sending me info. And then there was the whole Twitch thing. I've never had to deal with a massive Twitch channel thing like that. So just a quick shout out to all my mods who were in the channel helping me figure out what was going on, getting community feedback, and making sure that we have a better stream next time. So let's get started. I got my notes. Um, I just have to say, yeah, we had 600 viewers. We had so much crazy stuff in the chat. I know there was a few bugs with some of the mechanics, the alerts. I'm going to fix all that. There was a, I didn't even know what a hype train was. We hit level 5 hype train on Twitch. What is that? How do you even start a hype train? I don't know, but we went to level 5. I think that's good. Um, it's, it's a lot, but I'm just going to start off before I get into my thoughts of what happened last night. It was a positive experience. I had a good time. What what the hell is this? I didn't think I'd enjoy Monster Hunter uh, this fast in. If you watched the last journal, I was very skeptical. I was getting really ready for some frustration and for anger. There was none of that. It was just a very nice, pleasant ride so far. I'm not going to jinx it. Um, le I guess I'm just going to go in the order of my notes here. The first thing is, wow, a lot of information. Uh, like I said, the game was throwing a lot of stuff at me. Um, I wasn't necessarily in a headspace to absorb it all calmly because I had a very active community um, by my side. And I also wanted to make sure we were getting to the good stuff. So I missed a lot of information that the game was throwing at me. But even if I was playing alone, honestly, I'm not the type of person to sit and stew on that kind of information. I'm the kind to just go out, figure it out as I go. Um, if I was playing this alone, it would have been very intimidating and I would have ignored a lot of it anyways. So the fact that I had a community um, that kept reiterating kind of the important parts saying, hey, go to options, change this, it's going to make your life easier. So like um, I was suggested to change the thing where I can always see my health bar at all times, uh, removing that dynamic thing where it disappears. That's a good change. Being able to see my silhouette behind a monster. Those are good changes. So all I think all of the important stuff was communicated to me by the by um, the community, which helped me get through a little bit of all this information that the game was throwing at me. There's still a lot in there that I don't know. There's a lot of resource stuff, but I read all your comments on this channel. I, re I try to follow along in Discord, which that also blew up. Um, so if you're looking for a Discord for Monster Hunter things, there's gonna be uh, for Monster Hunter community. Um, I've kind of rejigged the whole Discord to support that. So if you wanna join a community, Links down in the description along with a bunch of other good stuff, including if you want to watch the stream, the full four hour stream, uh, the whole unlisted playlist is going to be saved here on YouTube and uh, you'll always find that link down below. So um, lots of information, but I'll get there eventually. Uh, the goal is not to absorb it all at once. The second, the, the first thing I noticed getting into this game was there, there was a lot more world building than I was expecting. Uh, when I dabbled in Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate, I think it was called. Um, they just kind of like threw you in a camp with like a very kind of generic boring character and they're just like, go hunt, go figure it out. Um, here, you know, there were there was cutscenes. You're like this new character that you get to, to, I don't know if you could design your character before. I would assume so, but it doesn't stand out. Uh, you make your own character and then 
you know, you're, you're being greeted in a first person view and, and feels like I belong to something and I'm on a ship and everything feels cool, like the aesthetics. And then there's like this massive dinosaur thing. I don't know what it is. It came out of the water and then like we're already on like an epic uh, adventure of like scaling this big thing and then flying out like, whoa, what is going on here? We're like chasing some elder dragons or something. Uh, and then there's like kind of a lively like world in this camp. All of this is making me want to learn more about this world and be a part of it. So the world building is just so much better. The character creation, I would say, was probably my first wall. Um, the amount of customization that you can do here is insane. And I never really spend too much time in, in character um, creation. So I tried to like design myself to the best that I could. I probably could have done a better job, but it's good enough. And then I made my, I think it's called a palico. Uh, the cat. So we named the cat Classy, and um, by the end of the stream, he ended up with a mustache. And I love, I love my cat. My cat is adorable. He is the best cat, and he is the classiest cat, and he will be my best friend forever. Um, the cat was harder to design than the human because I cared more about the cat. But I am very happy with how he turned out. So next. Uh, I dived into the weapon trials and I trialed all the weapons. I think I spent about 40 or so minutes playing around with the weapons. By the end of it, I went with sword and shield because there wasn't all these extra meters and things to uh, worry about. And as someone who has to learn just how to move in this game and how to do attacks, that one was very inviting to me because I didn't have to worry about consumables and all that. All I have to deal with is sharpening my sword and I'm getting the hang of that. So sheathing, unsheathing, attacking, and sharpening. And like, that's good right now. Let's get comfortable with that. Um, tried the great sword. Man, that thing feels really good to like swing around. Oh, it's so big, it's so big. So big. But I do not want to bring that into battle yet until I get more comfortable with the general sense of what I'm doing with this game. Um, the dual blades felt very very fast and it feels a lot more like those actiony games i usually play and i'm hesitant to to play those because uh it's so fast i feel it's not going to give me a good sense for what the rest of the game is like i do want to expand my i'm already like i'm getting sucked in guys i can feel myself getting pulled into this franchise and it is scary it is terrifying i just see a big black hole of monsters so i don't want to uh, go in with the experience I have and lean into dual swords. I'd rather go in with a little bit more of a balanced one, which is sword and shield, so that I can lean more, I can like move more towards the, the bigger weapons more naturally than trying to go from dual blades to the heavy weapons. Uh, long sword, if you watched the last journal, was one I was leaning towards. I really didn't like how it felt. So that one's on the back burner for now until I understand how to do more stuff with it. Tried the hammer, saw a lot of you hammer brothers out there. The, the basic bunk, very unsatisfying. The, the like swing up and big bunk, very satisfying. That's, it's fun to, to move that around. Uh, hunting horn, you guys are weird. I'm never gonna be a hunting horn user, sorry. We've got the lance, uh, which is very not my stand the ground type. I did not like much of the lance. The gun lance was cool because it's just a cool weapon. I mean, it's a lance with a gun in it. Um, so it's cool, but just not my play style. So Lance, Gun Lance, they're at the bottom of the list. Now, these next two, the Switch Axe and the Charge Blade. These things are sexy. I loved the Switch Axe. I just love the idea of you're swinging this thing. It's big, but it's not great sort big. And then you can like just switch it up into a, a slower or, fast, or faster mode and you just chain that and you just feel like such a badass these weapons are my goal this is what i want to play i want to be either a switch axe or a charge blade user um i think i was putting more time into the charge blade and i was understanding the whole okay you have to like fight with your your sword your sword and shield and then it charges these vials and then you like load up your vials into your shield or something and then when it's charged you like combine it into an axe and then you just like unleash some damage that stuff is cool and we're gonna get there that's my goal we're gonna transition probably to the charge blade and the switch axe one of the two or both um but i need to get my foundations down first and then the insect blade i really like the jump and the flying but again let's learn to walk before we learn to fly um so it's cool but i i'm not there yet 
And then we have the bow light bow, uh, the bow, the light bow gun, and the heavy bow gun. I, I knew I didn't really want to do range. The range felt good in training, but it feels more like a shooting, like it felt like a third person shooter in some senses. And I'm not here for that experience. Like I said, I want to get up in their faces. I want to slash them up. We're going to stick with the melees. Um, so right now, I'm just working on learning the combos of Sword and Shield, and then I want to eventually graduate to Switch Axe Charge Blade, and then we'll see. We'll see what I'm like after that. Um, so after that, we went to the hunts, and uh, I, I managed to hunt three, mon three monsters yesterday. So I did the Great Jagras, I did the Kula Yaku, and we, we did Enjanith, I think that's how you pronounce it, for funsies. Um, yeah, he destroyed me. So Great Jagras was a very nice, friendly, like, noob uh, monster. Basically, he gets fat, he charges at you, you roll out of the way, you wail on him, he charges at It's just really dodge the charge and wail on him. And it was very satisfying. And I have to say, like, in general, fighting the monster is, I think we all agree what the best part is. Like, that is exciting. And when, like, the monster is dead, I was actually, when I was in bed last night, I'm like, I wish I had more monsters to fight. Like, that is... That is the, the meat and potatoes of this game, was just being in there and, and wailing on these monsters. Um, but not, yeah, so the Great Jagras, we killed him, and then I got to make my own armor out of his skin, and that felt good. And I guess people were calling me like a fashion, uh, a fashion hunter. I don't care, I wanna look good. I'm not gonna like max and min my stats. I've never been that kind of player. I wanna look good and look like a badass. That's what I'm doing. Cow, the, so the, by the time we got to the Kula Kula Yaku, which is like a raptor thing that really likes his pot, um, I was really trying to figure out how to do combos, and I think I pulled off a really good one with the sword and shield. So I, with the first boss, I, it was mostly just hack slash. But then people, the community was telling me, okay, now you want to do like Y Y back B, which gives you that charge that you can then jump into the monster and then it launches you into the air and then you can like either bash with your shield or your sword down onto the monster and I, I even got like on top of it and I was riding it and I was like hitting in the head and I'm like oh it's only doing like one damage but then like I found out I could jump to the back and I can like stab it in the side and that was doing a lot more damage that was exciting I think everyone was pretty excited to see that um so now that I'm like okay we've got we've got basic hack and slash now I can jump I want to know like okay what's next is I I know sword and shield has a high skill ceiling from what I'm told. I want to get to that. I want to learn what I can do here. So I'm going to keep exploring that. Uh, and then eventually we're going to go to the more advanced weapons. Uh, Anjanith, um, I've learned that Anjanith, very, very weird pronunciation. I learned that roaring can freeze you. So that's not good. I wasn't ready for that. I wasn't ready for a lot of things. His tail attacks you, his mouth attacks you, his foot attacks you, everything attacks you. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna. I mean, I don't know how I'm gonna fight that thing. How I'm gonna kill it? Like I am such a baby right now. It's hard to imagine how I'm going to close that skill gap to be able to take down that monster. Uh, but I'm here for it. Next up, we have the upgrades. Um, I I really wasn't able to pay too much attention to what is the best stuff to do. The community was like, ah, just kind of do whatever. So I really followed mostly the community's uh, direction there, and. Um, so far, I'm turning out pretty good. So, this game is really gonna define. It's really defining my year. This game is my my outlook to this franchise is coming around. And yesterday, four hours. Usually, when I stream by the three hour mark, I'm getting tired and I'm kind of winding down. I didn't even notice four hours went by. And this is like looking at a game, looking at a Twitch chat, and like just absorbing all that. Um, I was blown away that four hours just went by like that. I was blown away I was having so much fun. And there's, it's it's a beautiful world. The music is so damn good in this franchise, in this game. I can't say franchise because I haven't played the other games. And um, I'm leaning, so some of you were, were saying, am I gonna get into Iceborne? I mean, I'm only two monsters in. I have not hit my first difficulty wall yet. So I'm not gonna say anything more, but I do want, I know that a lot of people like in Europe, you guys want to tune in live stream, so I'm going to look at doing probably a Saturday or a Sunday stream in the day for me, so that the uh, anyone in Europe can tune in live. We're going to do that probably in a week from now, so the next stream is going to be next Thursday. But like I said, I'm going to try to make more streams now that I know uh, I am enjoying it. It's not a punishment, um, and we 
I have to figure out my schedule, so I can't commit to anything more than that for now. And uh, yeah, let's just get to the credits and we'll see how it goes. But that's where I stand after day one in Monster Hunter, after four hours. What a shift it's been already. And there's so much more to look forward to. So if you're coming along for the journey, I mean, this is a community effort. This is not just one guy figuring out how to play it. This is one guy taking in a lot of information from a community and trying to put it into practice. So I welcome you to join uh, either of these journals on a week to week basis, join me in the stream or come into our discord, meet other hunters and let's just make an awesome community, have fun with this. And if you've made it this far and you've only been here for Monster Hunter, I'm also doing other things on this channel. I've done a whole Castlevania journey, which I welcome you to join. And uh, I'm actually getting close to finishing up the whole Castlevania franchise journey. So that's ending this year. And then we're going to do other journeys as well. Um, and I do other game reviews and demo reviews. So check that out. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next Monster Hunter Journal. Uh, also, if you want to watch the whole stream uh, and you don't want to use Twitch or whatever, it's gone on Twitch by the time you see this. Description below, you will find all of the Monster Hunter um, world playthroughs in an unlisted playlist that you can watch and share and do whatever you want with it. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next Monster Hunter Journal, and until then, keep it classy.